But here we go. Yes! 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 Hell yeah! <laughs>Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to some more Beam NG Drive. And in today's video, we're gonna dig up one of the older artifacts in the Beam NG vault. Well, I mean, it's not too old, but it's something that was added quite a while back and I never really made a video on it. It's probably one of the best pieces of machinery available in Beam NG Drive. If you can't tell what this is already, it is a rollover sled, which is basically what uh, safety companies use to kind of test rollover accidents with cars. Now, yeah, I've never used this in a video before, so I thought today was as good a day as any. And if you don't know what this thing does, I will I will demonstrate. So we have a little pessima here. So we're just going to drive this onto the platform right there. And then we're going to switch to the rollover sled. And if we push RB on the controller, it will send our car down and just begin to flip its shit over, as you can see. <laughs> And that was kind of a bad camera angle, but you get the picture. So yeah, we're just gonna mess around with that today. Probably do some duels, like kind of have two of them facing each other. And some other fun stuff, but for now, I would just want to test all the different cars that I can with this thing. Just because it's, it's so satisfying to just send a car rolling over like that. So we're actually gonna do that again with the Pessim up. Get a little bit of slow motion, just because just cause it's fun, you know? Alright, so we're ready. So three, two, one. Lift off per se, but yeah, there we go slow Motion and actually this car does a fairly good job of Maintaining like its shape and composure. I guess I'm not sure how you would be in the car Especially if you didn't have your your seat belt on but the car holds up pretty well as you can see I don't know how many flips we did there, but it was probably close to 10 I would say in the car well, Let's flip it over to get the whole damage report here the car looks like it is in pretty good shape, you know uh, There's definitely some stuff that's gonna take some work there But for the most part this car did pretty damn good So especially considering how old this thing is supposed to say I would say it did a pretty good job All right, so let's try something a little bit newer. I'm thinking the sunburst just the regular civilian edition uh, So I mean there's a roadster that doesn't have a top at all So obviously that's gonna be a little bit more dangerous in a rollover situation, but let's go ahead and just try a regular just kind of sports edition of the car Because you know these are gonna go faster, so they're more likely to flip over I mean, that's just the science of car crashes, but let's see how it does This is a bright like I supposedly this is supposed to be a pretty recent car It looks like it could be pretty new and has the LED lights, so you know, it's fairly recent But let's see how it does in the rollover crash. Here we go. Yep and Wow Wow, wow, okay, it barely did anything. I mean the roof is a little bit flat But you know it really didn't do much at all I gotta say but what if there was something in the way of the crash like say a brick wall? I kind of want to see how much difference that's gonna make So what we're gonna do is actually move this thing back just a tad so about right here I guess that's good for some reason this thing literally floats in the air not really sure what that's about but you know it'll work so we're gonna put a brick wall right about here and see if this thing can actually go through the wall unfazed. I don't think it's going to, but I just want to see what happens. So we're going to spawn this cinder block wall right here. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Yes, it didn't. Beautiful. Okay. Now let's switch back to the uh, the uh, sunburst here, and let's just send this bitch rolling. And it's the brick roll is not in the right place. I should have suspected that, so let's see if we can get this lined up perfectly right there. Oh, shit. No. God damn it. You got to get this bitch right on the... Is that good? Only a couple foot. We got to get it right on the ground here, which is kind of hard. So how's that? God damn it. Why do they keep falling? Oh. Oh my good God. Okay, you know what? We're just going to spawn and pause. Spawns. Sp <laughs> mixing words now. Why is it spawning like that? Okay. There we go. No. You know what? That's close enough. It's, it's still recognizable as a wall, so we're going to use it. So let's get this goddamn... Uh, Sunburst up here and just send it straight into the walls that lined up now. I think it is close enough. Oh for fuck's sake Can you can you not get stuck? Oh wow the all the wheels are off the ground right now, of course <sighs> Let's get a little speed that should do it. Yes, there we go. Okay, we got it set up now So let's go ahead and fire there we go in slow motion of course I want to see this in all its destructive glory here 
There we go, and straight through. Oh, shit. Okay, apparently those bricks weigh way more than I thought we caught on fire. Are you kidding me? Look at the dent in that thing. That is, that is, that is, yeah, that's bad. And, I mean, you know, we probably would have been all right, but now we're on fire burning alive. So now I got to say we're probably dead, guys, from a little rollover accident. One little brick wall straight to the, uh, the gas tank will literally kill you. Today I learned. Let's actually try to move this, this wall back a little bit. It's falling apart every time now. Ah, uh, that is, that is super frustrating. Okay, maybe you have to be, like, literally in the wall. I think some are still falling, God damn it! Okay, respawn. There you go, beautiful! Okay, for some reason it was just being weird whenever I had, like, the camera inside of it. I don't know, maybe the camera's like a physical thing now. I don't think so, but that's what it seems like. So, let's just get this back up on here. There we go, we got it every time now. So let's go ahead and send this bitch down the track! And we have a little bit farther to roll now. Oh no, the wall is off center. That's okay though. Whoa! <laughs> oh, look how much that flattened the top of our car there. Is it gonna flip over? Yes! So, people in the back seat probably gonna have a bad time, but I think you can still drive this thing. The engine shut off. Wait. If we start up, there we go. Yes, this thing is still completely drivable, if not a little off center. So, I think we should do it again, like a double test here. Alright, send it back. Here we go. There, God, that thing goes back fast. Okay, can we get up here? Yes, we can. Beautiful. So, round two. Here we go. Are you ready? Boosh! And let's get some slow motion this time. And the wall is still a little bit off center. But I think we're still going to hit it just fine and dandy here. And we're probably going to hit it from the front this time. Oh, there goes the driver. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. That looked like not a very serious collision compared to that last like the last one literally like smashed the entire roof of the car in and this is just a sizable dent on the front this thing should still run wait start the engine there you go yeah this thing this bitch still runs so should we just do this until the car dies i mean i guess we might as well this thing is starting to drive a little bit wonky now that is for sure all right so let's try to move this uh, a little bit to the left so we hit this thing dead on so, how about right there? Beautiful, beautiful first try. All right, so let's get this bitch up here if we can. Yep. Oh, oh, nope, nope, nope. Nope, there you go. Oh, shit, I was kind of worried for a second. Yeah, we got it up there, though. Barely. Okay, let's do it. There we go. And smash. Oh. <laughs> it's so simple yet so... Brilliant at the same time. Okay, let's switch cars to the newest vehicle in the beam beam NG lineup the hopper I'm kind of excited about this. I haven't really got to do a proper crash test with this thing So I I'm looking forward to it to say the least all right So we have the uh, quote-unquote luxury edition the uh, the uh, the ZXT6 I'm pretty sure it's the fastest edition as well So you'd think this would be the safest the safest the safest version of it, but we're gonna find out now here we go! Yes! And let's get some slow motion for that, oh, that goodness, the crunch! Here we go! Ooh, that roof is just gonna fall straight off, I, I imagine. When we hit this brick wall, maybe not? Oh! Oh, that flex, though. Damn it. Look at the, look at the, the bent in the, the, how bent the frame is now. Yeah, that's definitely not healthy. And we can't really see anything. The hood is sticking straight up in the air, so let's start the engine. Does it still go? Yes, it does, and then we can just run over the bricks. Oh, that is a thing. Oh, God! Oh, what the fuck? Okay, we're okay. <laughs> There's a brick stuck in the wheel. Oh, that's, uh, that's probably not good. I'm surprised the tire's not, the tire is not popped, actually. Oh, there's just sparks going everywhere. Okay, let's do this one more time with this vehicle. Just so we can put it out of, put it out of its misery at this point. Jesus. All right, we got it. So let's get it back up here. And I just want to kill this thing, to be honest. So, oh, let's put it back. And once more with feeling. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> we did not kill this thing, though. But I have an idea on how we can kill it. And we are going to need another sled. Okay, so these might be a little bit too close for comfort. So I'm going to move this back just a tad and get it, you know, on the ground where it's supposed to be. So that looks pretty pretty damn good actually no we should probably put it back so they can at least kind of roll a little bit before they uh, meet in the middle per se so how about right there 
Uh, is this thing still gonna work? No, it's not. Okay, so we should probably move it up just a little bit so it's not getting stuck in the ground here. So, let's go. Same place, same place. How about right there? Is that gonna work? Yes, that is gonna work beautifully. And are these lined up? Eh, close enough. So, I think that's gonna be perfect. So let's get the first Jeep up on here. And then we'll spawn just kind of a shittier one. But we're gonna use the hopper again. But I just want to use, I think, I downloaded a mod just yesterday that's supposed to be, where is it? The beater! Yes, there we go. It's all rusted up. So we're going to see which one wins. You would think the newer one would win since it's, uh, uh, you know, better, probably better safety features. This one hasn't been beat to shit. But we're going to find out. So let's go ahead and spawn this up. And not right there. A little bit over here, maybe, so we can actually get it on there. There we go. And let's get the cameras. Oh, this is a lot to set up, but it should be pretty well worth it. And look at the suspension on this thing. It's so bouncy. Oh, that's not healthy at all. Okay, let's put this right here. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to have to pause this, obviously. And uh, are we sure we're on this? Okay, yes, we are. So hit the button. And then hit the button. And let's see if this works, guys. I think... I think it should, but here we go. Yes! 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 Hell yeah! <laughs> Why am I so proud of that? I don't know. I don't know. That's so awesome, though. Okay, let's try to peel these apart and uh, see who is the victor. Ugh, are you going to come apart for me, please? Come on. There you go. Up, oh, nope. They're still together. Shit. God, they're like two, two, like horny high schoolers that you can't separate. There we go, kind of. We kind of destroyed it in the process. But, um, there we go. Just flip this over. There we go. Yes. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, this one, obviously, I think looks a lot in a lot better shape than our counterpart because uh, he got it straight to the engine bay and straight to the face. So, wow. I'm going to have to go ahead and say that the beater came out on top, although this one is still running. And the other one did die out. But will it start? Oh, no. There's not even not even an option for it to start down here. What the hell? Okay, did we really actually kill this thing? I guess it was weaker coming off. But, uh, yeah, I guess. As far as safety... Actually, you know what? As far as safety... This doesn't have a roof. What the fuck am I talking about? Everybody here is dead. But I would say the new one probably came out on top. Because, you know, it is still running. And the uh, driver is probably still alive, maybe. But I don't know. Okay, let's do some bigger vehicles, of course. All right, so how about an H-Series? Oh, man. There's so many. How about the ambulance? Yeah, why the hell not? If we can get it up on this this thing. And we're going to have to do something equal in size or at least close to it. So I think the closest in size to the ambulance is going to be... I, I don't know. I have to look, actually. Maybe just an absolutely giant D-Series. Ah, oh, no, I kind of want to... Uh, I don't know, guys. Is there anything that's even close to the side? Maybe the... <gasps> oh, you know what? Maybe the standard... The trailer. Yes, the trailer. Oh, I didn't even... Th that thing's just going to get ripped to shreds. But, you know, we have to try it anyway. Of course. So, let's try to get this up on here. If we can, even. Come on. Work with me. You know what? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not that. That's not going to work. So, let's see if we can actually get this on here. It looks like it's barely going to fit. And, of course, it's glitched into the thing. So, nope, 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 nope. Close, but no cigar. How about right here? No. Here? Ooh, that's that's closer. Let's see if we can actually move this thing around. You know what? I, th I, think, I think this is going to work. Let's actually try to lift it up at least a little bit up onto this. I think that's going to work. I think it's going to be close enough. So let's get our ambulance in position as well. And just try to get this show on the road, guys. So, oh, shit. Uh-oh. Okay, let's try that approach again. Yeah, these two vehicles are definitely way too big to be on this thing. But, you know, it, it's, it's science, guys. We have to try it. The two giant vehicles. Like, Okay, now I know the T-Series is probably not going to fit on here. So, sorry, guys, if you wanted to see that. But we got this one on here, finally. Okay, so I think this is going to work. Let's fucking do this, guys. So go ahead and pause. Hit that and uh, hit that. I think we're both on them. So yeah, let's actually get some slow motion this time. Because I want to see every little detail. So... Ooh, that one's already ripped apart. Oh, no. 
God. Oh, I did get stuck to the uh, rig just a little bit. And it basically just ripped it apart. But, you know, that was still pretty damn awesome. I gotta say... All right, so for the big finale, uh, we're gonna need to go somewhere really, really high. So I guess the best place to do that would be in Utah. All right, guys, so does this look high enough? I mean, it's pretty goddamn up there. Though it's a long way down. So this is gonna be the ultimate crash test rollover. So let's go ahead and spawn our vehicle up here and uh, spawn up the sled. All right, so here is our rig pointing up a little bit, actually. Because uh, if it clips through the ground, it kind of messes it up, messed it up. So we have to aim it up, which I guess is not really a problem because we're sending it off a cliff anyway. So it can only help the car. I mean, not really, but it's going to make it more awesome. So let's get this thing on here if we can. This is the off-road edition of the Roamer. So a pretty large vehicle. So are you ready, guys? Here we go. Yes. <laughs> oh, there goes the back tire. Oh no, oh no, shit, and slow motion, boom, <laughs> the ultimate rollover test, I mean, this is probably more of a drop test, but you know, it's still rolled over, oh, 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 can we keep going, nope, nope, that's it, okay, let's do it with one more vehicle, just as the big, like, the big finale here, so, I am thinking, what do we want to do? Um, I don't know. I don't know. There's so many vehicles. Let, oh, we could try, ooh. Let's do something expensive like the K-Series here. So, this is a very expensive car. Let's do the most expensive edition, which is probably going to be the Renan GTE Pro, which is more of a race car, you know. But still, I just want to see this thing get absolutely wrecked. So, we can actually, if we can actually even get up on the ramp without... Damaging this thing too bad. Nope. Okay. That's the wrong way to do it. Hold up. We gotta go in straight So This way maybe Nope, we got stuck shit. Okay. Give me a second guys. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so this should be good Here we go Ooh, Slow motion. Oh Is it gonna clear it? Mm, it's gonna hit the back just a tad yeah, right at the wheel. I can see why the wheel fell off the roamer there, but we have a long way to go Oh, no, this thing is just gonna be absolutely pancaked. Oh Yep, just as I imagined fucking destroyed <laughs> this thing does have a roll cage though. Oh wait, does it? Oh No, it doesn't oh shit. You would think something like this would but it does not it, 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 it doesn't have the uh the uh, drive or the passenger seat either. That's kind of weird. I guess I guess you can buy some, like, specialized race cars like that. But, yeah, so that was the rollover sled. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of the sled, let me know down below. And make sure to like the video and comment and hit that little notification button uh, next to my name so you get notified whenever I upload. But, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See ya!